Hey gang, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be one of those highly requested videos. I will be spilling a lot of tea on things that no one is going to tell you. So today we are going to be going over three ways to prep your press on nails before application. So this is going to be just a few ways that you can guarantee that your gel polish is going to stick to the nails, they're going to last, your customers are going to be super happy, you're not going to have any chipping or anything like that. Um, and yeah, we're just going to be sitting here and learning. I also really wanted to do this video because when I was first starting out, I could not find anything on how to prep press on nails and I really just had to go through the process and as time went on and I was able to connect with other women who do press on nails I was able to see how they prep their nails and it's just a learning process a lot of people do it differently so I really feel like there's no right or wrong um, but these are just kind of the popular ways to prep the nail I'd also like to take a second just to welcome anyone that is new to my channel. My name is Deja, I'm the owner of Pressaholic, and here on this channel we basically talk about all things press on nails, business, nail art, and things like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you got anything out of it or you just want to be part of the gang, because it's a good time here. So guys, to start this video, I am going to be using the A-Press Gel X Nail Extensions in Sculpted Coffin Extra Long. I actually don't really like these nails just because they are very C-curved. So on a flat nail bed such as mine, you can see that when you press it all the way down, it just kind of feels really uncomfortable in this section and on the edges as well as the sizes just not matching up to my size chart. Also, don't mind my two nails missing. I did that on purpose. <laughs> and really quick before we start, I really want to just say that everyone kind of has their own technique. I will um, be doing my personal technique in the beginning. It is the most simplest technique but I will also be sharing some other um, products that you may want to try or use completely up to you. So step one to every um, way that I'm going to show you is to buff the nails. I of course like to use a nail duster and today I'm using the Melody Susie which is a two-in-one. It also has the nail drill that you can connect to this nail duster. I've been using this nail duster for um, I want to say a month or two ever since I did the review which I will leave in the cards if you guys are interested or I'll leave it in the description box um, for you to watch the video of this review. So here is my own personal method. I always just buff the nail. I'll make sure to file the end of the nail and put it on a stand, of course. You can also use um, different stands such as these, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to be using uh, the chest pieces. I'm also going to be using Nail Addicts Gel Polish in Rose Quartz. So what I would do is, after buffing, I'm literally just going to go into painting the nail. This method has worked for me for a long time um, without having to use any extra product. Um, but you can feel free to use whatever method 
you like so if you really like some of the other methods then i highly suggest that you just keep on doing whatever makes you comfortable here's the nail painted and cured um i only did one coat on these sample sets just because there's no need in wasting um extra product but i am just going to top coat and i'm going to cure again for 60 seconds and we'll be on to our next method Now for our second method, we of course are going to buff the nail and we are going to use a primer. So here is the Nail Prep by Eno Couture. You can also use Young Nails Protein Bond, which I know is literally a favorite for nail techs and press on nail business. So here I'm just going to add that Nail Prep and I'm just going to put it everywhere. This stuff dries super, super fast but especially it's such a long nail so there you go and it will stay just like this you can tell that it is still a little bit wet but it is eventually going to dry down and this is basically just to dehydrate the nail bed um but you can also use it on your press on nails i personally have used this method a few i want to say like last year i tried to do it on a few nails and i really liked that when you are applying your gel polish it goes on super super smooth um i feel like you get less of those like lint and hairs that get stuck to the press on nail so using something like protein bond or a nail prep or a nail dehydrator on these nails it just helps your overall application so here is the nail of course using nail addict in quartz rose again and you can tell that the difference between the two like here i got a little bit of lint on this nail so just doing the nail dehydrator or protein bond whatever you decide to use can really help the application of your nails so if you're having um, a problem with application then i would probably suggest for you guys to do the dehydrator method for the last method that I'm going to show you is to just buff the nail, just as we did with all the other ones. Also, the reason why you really want to buff the nail is just to take off that shine and give your nail a roughened surface. That way, it's just going to let the product stick onto the nail. But the last step would be just to go straight in with base coat. Um, but if you wanted to do something other than these three, um, and you are probably opting in to use protein bond or to use a nail prep, I would probably suggest to do the nail prep and the base coat on top just because I don't really trust, uh, just going in with the protein bond or, with a nail dehydrator just because it leaves a very smooth surface on the nail and then you're painting the nail and there's really nothing for the polish to stick to so in other words if you really wanted to do the nail prep then i would probably do nail prep base coat and then apply the top the gel polish that you're trying to use but for this uh just three simple methods i'm just going to go in with base coat Also, if you guys are interested in what color I used, as I said before, it was Nail Addict in Quartz Rose. I actually just got this color and it's absolutely stunning. I really love it. It's almost like a peachy nude. Really, really nice. And if you guys are interested in getting any Nail Addict products, then you can use code Prestaholic for 55% off. Let me just say that one more time. 55% off that is the best deal that you are ever going to get 
these gel polishes usually retail for I think like 19 to 20 dollars and you get them for like eight dollars and change so um, overall the quality is really good as well as the pigmentation so I highly highly recommend for you guys to grab some um, again the code is Prestaholic and I will also leave the link in the description box but I also have some um, swatch videos of different nail addict polishes that I have tried and I will also leave the videos to that in the description or in the cards. So it's been raining for three days here in Florida so I really am trying to give you the best lighting. But here was with method one, method two, and method three. In real time, I do feel like this one looks the most opaque and went on the easiest. This is the method that I typically use and I will use two coats and then this is just using the base coat. And again, if you wanted to add in a fourth method, then I would suggest doing the prep or a uh, Young Nails Protein Bond and doing the base coat all in one and then painting the nail. But overall, I am really happy with these methods and I highly suggest that you guys try them. Also, if you are new and you're into all things nail art, then I highly suggest for you guys to click that subscribe button and to follow me here on YouTube and join the Prestaholic gang. I love you guys so, so much. And again, check out the description for all of the links that you may need.